So we're at the office now, and it's take your kids to work day. My kids are already inside. They didn't want to be out here. They wanted to be in the air condition. So let's, uh, let's get this day started and put those kids to work. Come on. The most energetic children in the world. Hey, say hi to the peeps. Hi. Today there's a meeting at 11, which is now, so it might be a little hectic. We're just going to usher people off into, kids off into the corner. No way. Yeah, you're already no. Where the whole army is here. What's your name? What's your name? What's your name? What's your name? It's Matt. Matt Command. All right, so this is Walton. Have you met Walton, people? And this is Stefan. All right, so we're going to set the kids up and get them going, um, do some stuff. Kenna, what do we have for them to do? Taylor. Where are they going to do that at? Let's go. Let's go to the conference room. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Isn't it crazy? All your business. All right, guys, they're gonna work out here today. Mom's gonna set you up. They're obviously excited to work today. No. So Alini and her team, she started a farm, and we're mailing out letters for her on her behalf. So the kids are gonna, I guess, fold the letters, yep. stuff them, stamp them. That's what Thank you. That's folded. Kayla, sticker goes right here. All right, so while they're doing that, I have some stuff I gotta do. I got a whole list of things to do. So I always start my day with what I call the daily HBC. It'll make more sense in a minute. But basically, the reason why so many people struggle in real estate is because they don't really have a plan. They don't really know what they're no. doing. And it's hard. So the two ways that you solve that, in my opinion, what at least has worked with me, was always doing the workouts first thing in the morning. As a, you know, so always getting the endorphins going, getting excited, cleaning the mind out, and then having a plan. My plan is the daily HBC. So we're gonna do that in there and I'll explain a little bit more about what that is. All right, so when you go through, uh, what any real estate training or coach would tell you that you wanna do what's called prospecting in the morning or lead generate. Now, I never really liked that term. I, I kinda like the idea of human connecting or business branding. Like use this time to solidify your brand and connect with people. So I always have a list with me wherever I go. It's called my Dream 300 list. And I try to connect with at least 25 people every day. On, on their social feeds. And this really helps with my um, relevancy scores and engagement ratings on Instagram and Facebook. Um, so there's a multiple ways you do that. So I make sure I, at least one way or another, connect with 25 people on this list. I check it off and then I reprint the list um, when I'm done and do it again in a different way. So that's what I work on right off the bat. And here's a whole list of things that, um, that I try to accomplish every morning. It's the first thing, to, to, first thing you do when you get into the office or when you're at your house. And again, so there's never, there's never a time where you get to work and you're like, I don't know what to do. Well, now you do. You have a whole list. So in our training, we provide this to them. We provide a whole list of this inside of the training um, for people and also our team. They are provided with that and they're expected to do what's called the daily HBC, daily HBC or the daily homes by Koozie list every single morning. So I'm going to get going on doing that first and then jump into the, the work and things that I need, the other things I need to do right away for today. Hello. Did you guys like that blooper reel? Yeah, that was good. You know, I want to say something about all of you on that. Like, I was really, really impressed on how you guys did it. Like, like for real. It's not, and Alina, you were great. I thought she was great, right? <laughs> you guys were great too, you know? I was just, I was really, really impressed by it. Because you, you saw the final product, but watching the blooper reels, you could see your yeah. real personalities. Yeah. yeah. And I'm like, these guys are kind of cool. <laughs> I like them. We're all right. I think it's time to check on the kids. Do you want to meet the top agent in our office? Uh, turn, around. Up on you. turn around, turn around, turn around. Sure. Nicole Bruchot, uh, sorry. she is fun. How do you work say with her oh, a lot. You, huh? yeah. <laughs> he does, he does. I do a lot of her work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He does my, How many closing? Fact, we're gonna have. Talk to the people, how many closings have you had? Who are you talking to? You're not family, you, for yeah, real? Yeah, you're on YouTube right now. How many uh, closings did you do last month? 42. 42, that's more than most agents do in four years. Five years. Yeah. I need to talk to you. Work night and day, man. I know, you're an animal. In a good way. <laughs> how do you say how do you say bye in French? Bye. Hey, okay. Take your kids to work day is not going well. It's not. <laughs> well, that's every morning like you and uh, we well, I have know to work how too. This is what we do for work. We already know how he does. Okay, so what do you want to do? You want to take him take him home? No. Well, you don't want to work. I got a paper cut doing it. 
So if you stay here, you know Daddy's gonna work, right? Yeah. So are you gonna harass your dad? Yes. Hey, Can you be here all day? It's gonna be a long time. So if you have to poop, you have to hold it. Come on, Eddie. <laughs> Alright. Boredom begins now. Alright, so we have a listening appointment tomorrow. We actually have two to we had well one tonight and that got pushed it tomorrow. So we, now we have two tomorrow, one in the morning, one in the afternoon. Um, so I'm just doing some homework on it. What I like to do on my listings is before I go, I send them I started doing this with COVID. I'll send them like a video version of the presentation. And a lot of times that would make uh, that would make the actual appointment much easier. And oftentimes they don't people don't even need an actual appointment. So I'm in kind of get all this all ready and then this afternoon or this evening um when these guys go to bed i'll put together a video and send it off to the seller so i'm just doing some pre-homework on that now before my coaching call which is in an hour so there you go all right This is my lunch. Mint chocolate. I thought you were on a diet. Well, I can't have some mint chocolate, Mr. I eat whatever I want, and then I still got abs. Listen, man, I don't want to hear your shit. I don't want to hear your shit. What's your breakfast? Macaroni and cheese, 220 calories, whey protein, and vegetable mix. So it came to 376 calories. For breakfast? Yeah. And then these chocolates, oh. 600? <laughs> no, they're not. It gets like 60. <laughs> and so where we're at now is that we're big on video content. Obviously, you're watching a video. And someone I know made us a blooper reel. So I'm going to download the blooper reel, and then I'm going to post it. They want to go home. I said, if you stay here, daddy's going to be working. It's not going to be fun. And you can't give me crap. I must make you And you're like, yeah, of course. It'd be great. It'd be wonderful. Blah, 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 blah. Now, what? Where do you want to go? Home. No, go home. Hmm. 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 I know how you love the challenges. I do. <laughs> <laughs> my favorite. I do love the You know what? Alright, so what? They had a team meeting and now that's their lunch? Is that what's going down? Is that what happened, Matt? Yeah. Yeah. What? Go get get this guy. He's famous. Pardon. He doesn't like people messing with his prospecting. They were what's totally messing with his prospecting. Addison? And what's your name? Shy Girl. You want to meet Aaron Ellis? Wait, wait to the people. <laughs> Alright, I think I'm gonna have to take these guys home because they're driving me crazy. Take a picture. Take a picture, don't be weird. Smile! Oh my god. <laughs> How much work did you do? Zero? Zero? Yeah. Hey guys. I got oh, I have a coaching call in eight minutes. <laughs> Alright, this is not gonna work. Girls, you're gonna have to wait 38 minutes. No, 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 no. So we got a coaching call in eight minutes. They're not gonna allow me to do it. They drive me crazy. So I'm gonna try to figure out if we can push the coaching call back. Very professional. It's See, they say my car stinks. Does my car smell? You. It's not like you. Oh, I don't stink. Yeah. Hey, Colleen, comma. Something came up, unfortunately, period. Can we push our call back 30 minutes? Question mark. Of course, very professional doing that seven minutes before our appointment. But, as yeah. your parents know, sometimes you can't control those things. Because they're not going to let me be a professional coach and trainer for 30 minutes. They'll be in and out of that room. Danny, 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 Danny. Right? Yeah. Alright, so I'm going to take them home. And I had a coaching call in five minutes, but that's not happening. So I pushed them back. All right. Okay. All right, bye. Bye. So the way that the coaching calls uh, work is anytime someone signs up to the training, they get 
um, they get to have a coaching call. Just It's kind of just to see where they're at in their careers, seeing what they need work on and see if there's anything I can do to kind of help them um, through that process. Because, you know, sometimes getting that one-on-one personal attention can make or break uh, people and help either change their careers or not. So we do a call with myself and we do a call with Dan, the tech guy. And we also just have, even though we say there's only one scheduled calls, our phones are always, we're always available as much as we can, email, text, etc. cetera. Um, so that's how it works. So hopefully she's okay with us pushing it, pushing it back. I want to say most of the agents that we speak to, they, they just don't know even where to begin. They, they, they understand, they, they came from usually some type of job or an employee uh, background and they have to take that employee hat off and now become an employer of themselves, of their business. They have to be business owners. And they never really had to drum up business for themselves. And that's hard for a lot of people because we're in a business where you have to get out there, you have to connect, whether that is, um, you know, whatever way you want to do. If you want, either way, somebody, somebody has to know you exist and that this is what you offer, uh, your services that you offer. And in this competitive environment, a lot of people's concerns is exactly how to do that without being like a sleazy uh, salesperson. So that is the number one thing that people get. And also, it's the clarity of they they have confusion on what they should be spending their time doing. If you, if you go to most real estate offices around the country, you'll see that a, it's, a lot of agents are either just hanging out around the copy machine or making coffee or just chit-chatting when they should be doing there's plenty of stuff to do to generate business but they don't really know what they should be doing so should i be doing this should i be doing that should i be doing this so they don't do anything at all so i think with a lot of people it's just providing that clarity like here this is what you should be doing this is what works this is what i feel is the most exciting thing to do to grow your business um in a very um happy productive way while you also adding benefit and value to the people at the same time so you got four seconds before I go over there and go back to work <laughs> kids are dropped off the coach and client said it's okay that we pushed her back a half hour so we're gonna try to get back to work in 15 minutes to uh, do that, I feel horrible because our reply to email was just like, "That's fine." <laughs> no. Oh my gosh! Let's walk quickly. What you got? You gotta call Harry. I got a coaching call, which we're gonna go in the other office and do. You gotta call Harry. I need just a second. What? Okay. okay so my inspection. This is a condo, mm -hmm. all right? So there was a leak. Go for it. All right, I gotta get this coach call done. Thanks, Chris. Oh, I'm sorry. My little cubby hole. That's in here. All right. So I'm late on this coaching call, which I feel horrible about. But let's get it. So the first thing is I always want to do when I call. Just trying to feel out where, where, where are they at. Well, everyone's in the different processes of their careers, and I'm going to see if I can help her or not. All right, can you hear me? Here we go. Hey, we did it. Hey, look at that. Woohoo! Woohoo! <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but the, the opportunity is high. The, the thing is, because yeah. the barrier entry is low, it increases a lot of competition. The good news is it's not a, it's not good competition. But I've always struggled with, and I don't know if this is how you feel, as just being when people are like, what do you do? I'm a real estate agent. And they'll be like, oh, yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah, so is my dog. You know? Yeah. And that, yeah. that, I always struggle with that for a while. And that's kind of how I transitioned my business into what it is now from just being a normal realtor into making something enjoyable out of it. All right, I've cool. Got, I've got to go. Get it. All right, I'm going back to work. I'll see you. All right, thanks, Chris. Appreciate it. Thank you. Bye-bye. All right, coaching meeting is is done. What I really liked about it is that most times when I tell people in our calls that these are some things that you want to do um, a lot of it's mostly uncomfortable and people are not used to it um, and I'll call them out uh, I'll say all right so write a check to someone who you really dislike send it to me and I'll mail it to that person if you don't do this by this day most of the time they never send the check or they just they balk at it 
But she seemed really interested. She's going to, she says she's going to mail me the check and I will mail it to that guy if she doesn't do it. And I'll remind her, hey, you got two weeks. Hey, you got a week. Um, and you'll see that once you do these things that might seem odd or uncomfortable, after a while, they're, it's really a whole lot of nothing. It's all up here. So I'm excited to see where, uh, where she takes it. Okay. So uh, that is that. We have a, uh, uh, we have a meeting at three o'clock. Um, right now it's two o'clock, so I'm going to get caught up on email and some work stuff. Um, I haven't checked. I have three missed calls. I'm going to see what the, all that's about. And then we're going to head over to the meeting at three. So let's see what those missed calls were. At this point, all of the boring is boring stuff is out of the way. So I spend a good portion of my day prospecting or, uh, connecting with people. And then I spend a lot of time following up on files, following up in emails and calls. I'm now kind of caught up with all that. So you don't start doing the fun stuff until the work stuff is done. And the fun stuff I mean is posting fun content. I love doing um, video content and posting some cool stuff. So right now we got a video like I mentioned, uh, that I mentioned earlier that um, it's a blooper reel. But you need a thumbnail to post a blooper reel. So there's a bunch of ways you can create thumbnails. It's a process. Um, but basically what I, first thing I did was I took a screenshot of me looking awkward and I'm going to see if that might work. Right. Uh, you can have the text in the background. Why is it not coming right though? Yeah, I think you want him a little lower so that the bottom stroke. Yeah, the bottom sure. area. Can, can you lock the back, like the layer, like can, you can in Photoshop. When you lock it, you can't touch it. Oh my god, I cannot believe this guy. Alright, we have a thunder. Also, let's post this sucker on the book of face. Oh, we gotta go. Yeah. We gotta go. We're meeting people at three that you don't even know who we're meeting yet. <laughs> I'm getting tired. Go get a coffee. Let me get my bag and get out of here. The real estate drama that never ends. She had a closing, but her money's not right. Why would I say something like this? That's what I was telling him. Yeah. That's something. I'm like, half my day is a psychiatrist. Yeah, call me. I, I actually have a three o'clock in Springs. So I'll see y'all later. Bye. 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 All right. So we're going to go to Big Bear and uh, have the camera out on your board. Cool. Yeah. What are you laughing at? <laughs> All right, cool. So we left the office and now we're at. Uh, ironically, the place where my wife and I went on our first date, it's Big Bear, and we are going to, my assistant and I, Steven, we're interviewing an intern who wants to work with us over the summer. So I'm going to go talk to him, see why he wants to do real estate, and then after that, after we leave here, I have a listing appointment, but before that, let's do this. All right, cool. So I'm going to ask a couple questions and I'm going to get out of here. All right. You good? Yeah. So real estate, why real estate? Um, ever since I was little, my dad has gotten me into the stock market, the real estate market, and I just love the idea of like buying a house and all this stuff and selling and what I want to do. I'm, I'm not lazy. I'm not lazy. I'm not lazy. All right, I'm out of here. Alrighty, nice to meet you. Good to meet you. See you, dude. That's a smart kid, I like him. So basically that's the day in the life as a real estate agent. There's some more things that I have to do after this. But you get the idea. I hope you enjoyed this and by all means if you want to you want to reach out to us to do any of our real estate trainings go to pseudopagents.com or follow me on any of the links in the description of this video and I'll be happy to connect. See you.